Joan Benoit Samuelson is a living legend in the world of athletics, having been the first Olympic women's marathon champion back in 1984. Though she might be well along in the years now, it hasn't stopped her from doing what she loves. This year, she returned to competition at the London Marathon and won her age group. We'll be covering her story and much more in today's video. The passing years bring with them a lot of changes, changes that might make it difficult to carry on doing what used to be easy enough when they were younger. But to some, age really is just a number, and its rising doesn't keep them from doing what they love. That's the case with Joan Benoit Samuelson. Samuelson was the first Olympic women's marathon champion back in 1984, when, at 27 years old, she clocked in at 2 hours, 24 minutes, and 52 seconds. Today, she's 65, but that hasn't kept her from hitting the ground running. Early in October, the American ran her first 26.2-mile race in three years, when she participated in the London Marathon. She was competing in the 65 to 69 age group, and when she reached the finish line, she'd clocked in at 3 hours, 20 minutes, and 20 seconds. That time put her at the top of the group by 7 minutes and 52 seconds. She was happy about the fact that she was running along with her daughter, Abby, who crossed the finish line at a time of 2 hours, 58 seconds, and 19 minutes. When speaking to the organizers, she expressed pride in the fact that she was able to finish the race, despite everyone saying it wouldn't be possible. She said that she She'd never say never, and also jokingly implied that her daughter was only able to beat her because of her replacement knee. Next, her commitment to the sport. This isn't the first time that Joan Samuelson has proved that running is a major part of her life. Apart from being an Olympian, she's participated in several different marathon races over the decades. She raced the Boston Marathon in 1979 and 1983, and then she did so a third time in 1987, but that was different. Not willing to let anything stop her, that third time running in Boston happened while she was three months pregnant with Abby. That's the level of dedication she's had to the sport. She also participated in the Chicago Marathon in 1985 and the New York City Marathon in 1988 and 91. There are just six world marathon majors, and she's completed five of them, and a few of those she's participated in multiple times. All that's left is the Tokyo Marathon, and she's got her heart set on completing the six. The Tokyo Marathon is next on the agenda, and it will take place in March of next year. Now that she's finished the London Marathon, all she has to do is make sure she stays in shape until next year. Considering that she's been keeping herself fit for decades now, we don't think that's going to be much of a problem for the 65-year-old Hall of Fame runner. Despite being well along in years, Samuelson still ranks sixth in U.S. women's history, her personal best of 2 hours, 21 minutes, and 21 seconds still holding up. Coming up, Samuelson's views on current athletics. Samuelson had an interview a while ago where she reflected on the championship and the current landscape of the sport. The way she sees it, the races are anybody's to win, not to lose. It's not about what people do wrong, it's about doing what's right and persevering. That mindset has certainly worked out in her favor over her long, seemingly never-to-end career. She was asked about what she thought about the current Olympic athletes who are now carrying on her legacy. She believes that anyone that has made it to the world stage is a deserving athlete. And though the Americans that have qualified in the past year were surprising, it doesn't mean that they don't have what it takes to succeed. She thought back on her own win back in 1984, and how she was the underdog back then, with no one really expecting much from her. Despite that, she won against the late great Greta Waits, who was believed to be a surefire winner, but Samuelson's hard work and passion won out and she believes that will certainly be the case in the coming marathons, where passion and dedication win out over all else. Samuelson may be a remnant from the early days of the sport, but she's been consistently active. That means that she doesn't just have experience being in the thick of things, but also understands what works and what doesn't, and she seems to think the sport is as healthy as ever. Moving on, talking about mental health. Apart from discussing the current level of athleticism in the sport, she also discussed the issue of mental health. Samuelson said that she's been seeing a lot of athletes talking about mental health issues in interviews, and it's made her happy. Having been in their position for ages now, she understands that there's a lot of pressure to perform. There's especially a lot of pressure on the people at the top, 
who are recognized as the ones to beat. She acknowledged the fact that even when she won the championship back in 1984, Greta Waltz likely had a much more stressful time during that period because she was the one that was expected to beat everyone else. Not having that pressure gives you the space to focus on what matters. Samuelson brought up one of the most high-profile situations relating to mental health issues these days, that of Simone Biles. Biles is considered to be the greatest gymnast of all time and has consistently been successful both in national and international spaces. However, the stress of being in that position clearly got to her when she dropped out of the 2020 Summer Olympics. Since then, she's been open about how her mental health has been affected, and Samuelson thinks that and other instances like it are important and great for athletics going forward. Understanding the pressures associated with this vocation makes it easier to tackle them. Next in other news, Sisson demolishes American record. For the past 16 years, Dina Castor's American women's marathon record has stood the test of time, but that's all come to an end this year. Castor had set a record of 2 hours 19 minutes and 36 seconds back in 2006 at the London Marathon. Marathon. And then in Houston earlier this year, Kira Diamato ran in Houston, shaving off 24 seconds off that time. But that just signaled to the other American athletes that the record could be taken down and they could do better than some tens of seconds. Even Diamato figured that if she didn't lower it herself soon, she wouldn't have hold of it for too long. She was right. Enter Emily Sisson, the 30-year-old with only one official marathon under her belt. She competed in the Chicago Marathon and going in, she said she'd go for the record if she was having a good day. And have a good day she did ending the race with a time of 2 hours, 18 minutes, and 29 seconds, a full 43 seconds under the previous record, demolishing it. Sisson might have finished the race second, but she made history for America by being the first woman to run 26.2 miles in under 2 hours and 19 minutes. Next, Yahualo wins London Marathon. This year's London Marathon was no small affair, attracting more than 40,000 runners. There were all sorts of people participating, many clad in colorful costumes and sporting figures fancy looks, but among them was one runner that no one could have suspected would come out on top. That runner was Yalimzerf Yahualo, and she was just 23 years old. Yahualo, hailing from Ethiopia, didn't have a smooth time of things. With six miles left to the race, she'd encountered a literal obstacle in her path. It was a speed bump, and it left her sprawled on the road after she fell face first onto the tarmac. But that didn't stop her, and when she crossed the finish line, she clocked in at 2 hours 17 minutes and 26 Six seconds to win the race and set a new Ethiopian record. Lastly, Ashuri runs for awareness. Anushe Ashuri was held in Iran for nearly five years on false spying charges until he was released earlier this year. Now back in London, he was adamant about running the London Marathon to spread awareness about other detainees being held captive in Iran. He ran for Amnesty International and Hostage International, earlier saying he was determined to finish the race if his knees didn't fail. At 68 years old, it it isn't just the cause he's running for that's inspiring, but the fact that he's able to do it at all. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Samuelson will cross the finish line in Tokyo and complete the six? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.